Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial and uh, this time we'll talk on arrays. Uh, I have a wonderful question for you and uh, hope you'll definitely enjoy this video because this is again going to be my one of my favorite subject in Excel, in advanced Excel which is the arrays, right? And uh, before I proceed and I exactly tell you what exactly we are going to do is just quickly uh, let me just tell you that you can watch my all the videos on the arrays uh, by going to my playlist and you so far I have uploaded just four videos over here but trust me you watch them and definitely you will you are actually going to gain something out of it and you know your actually the way you know how you see the axle it will totally be changed right because arrays are very very strong and very very powerful and the example I'm gonna give you in this video so we have a question here uh, and the question is that I have this table where I have uh, you know written these dummy numbers and we want to find that how many numbers in this table are unique which are not repeated actually right so far I have this hundred uh, items over here hundred numbers over uh, over here in this table and all the numbers are not repeated right so how will you actually calculate it how can you make a that kind of a powerful formula which can give you the unique numbers right so uh, maybe uh, you can try to you know do this kind of a stuff if you don't know the arrays you'll you'll add these values and you drag them up till your this hundred since you have the last number as the hundred so I'm gonna drag this and so on you know and then maybe you like to use this function count if you would say that okay I want to count this so in this entire range I'm gonna count my this cell which is my hundred okay and you will get the count of the hundred now let's just freeze this and you can drag this formula and this is how you can check actually all the items uh, whose count is one so that means that they are all unique right so suppose if I'm going to add some number over here one you can see here that is going to give me the two right and similarly if I uh, going to add this 43 over here let's say uh, 43 here 43 is now going to be repeated three times and if I write this for 43 again then this is going to be repeat uh, three times so you can check here uh, 43 must be showing the answer three right so you can use the filter over here and you know like this and you can definitely uh, you know uncheck all these numbers and you can check that how many numbers are have their unique value and they are actually 92 right now right so that's another way but I'm not gonna teach you this way because this is a very boring way and trust me this is more of a like basic Excel according to me I'm gonna tell you arrays with just one formula how you can actually make this big thing happen right how you can find the unique values right so uh, just let me just put my this table once again back to this original uh, 60 and this time what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an array so what I'll do is uh, I'll simply uh, go ahead and uh, I'll use this function uh, which is called countif okay the way I I just used it with the helper column now I'll give the range that's my range and in this range what are the criteria is so I'm not gonna select one cell I'm again going to select the entire range right and now this time I'll press control shift enter because arrays works on only on control shift enter if you don't know about the arrays just watch my those four videos you'll come to know I have actually uh, you know uh, given a quite uh, good amount of explanation over there so you can actually know that you know how the arrays works they always work on a true false combination so I'll press control shift enter and as you can see here uh, that's the just over one number but this is not actually one number if I come over here and I, I'm gonna press F9 I'll get all the output so as you can see here that all the count of this one two three four five is telling me that it is one so I'm getting a somewhere two which means the number which is at this position it must be repeating again so maybe we can check 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 20 30 31 32 33 36 uh, okay so maybe some number is uh, repeated here I'm not sure which number but you can actually uh, check from here you know what you can do is uh, I can uh, let's say uh, I'm gonna press this one here and I'm gonna say here 3 okay now let's check the output so I'm going to press F1 now you can see here that I have got the 2 here 2 here 2 here 2 here right why because this number 1 a1 is going to be repeated and uh, this is coming twice as I can see here then again in the b1 I have again a new one which is again repeated because I have in you know this one twice it's coming twice in my data similarly on this C I have three and on D this uh, you know this is again three so that's why I'm getting two 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 
2 and the rest of the values are 1 1 1 1 1 right and for the values which I'm getting here 0 0 that means they don't they do not exist which are these blank entries actually the last four entries right so in my array I have created all the things now what I actually want is and similarly you can check for this 2 as well this is somewhere I don't know which position is uh, but maybe uh, I don't want to actually spend much time on this but you can find it out some number is actually getting repeated here right so it must be if I have here 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, must be somewhere here 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, uh, 4, 6, 7, 8, 40, 48, 49, 50, 51, 53, 55, 56, 58, 59, 60 and this is all going in a sequence. Uh, 77 yeah so here you have the 43 right so this is the 43 uh, which is actually going to be repeated here so I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I'm gonna change it to 69 now I'm sure I will not have this two again for just the four uh, the very first four cells I will actually get two 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 and thereafter as you can see here now the two is nowhere we don't have any two right so rest of all the numbers are actually unique because their count is actually one so what to do now uh, how you can actually get rid of these two numbers right so what you can do is uh, you can simply put the formula here if my this value of this array is not equals to one okay then return zero or otherwise return one and control shift enter now what will happen is all my two numbers or the numbers which are not exactly one they will be converted into zero right now since I have all the numbers as zero which are which are either they are the blank there or they are actually uh, you know uh, repeating again and again uh, with the help of the if function I have just actually made them zero now what I need to do is I simply need to sum because I have now got the combination of all the ones which means that they are all the unique numbers right so we have here 96 unique values isn't it amazing I think that's fantastic right that's arrays that's the power of arrays right so uh, the moment I'm gonna keep on increasing the duplicacy over here this number will keep on reducing as you can see here see this you know we have now just got the 85 values so maybe I'm, I'm gonna uh, write here 58 let's say I'm gonna copy this 58 to this entire table you see this will be reduced right so you just have now these values so as I keep on increasing this you know uh, duplicacy the my unique count for the values it will keep on reducing so I have just now you know 22 so similarly you know I hope you I have given you enough explanation for that and this is how you can actually work on the arrays so now I have just got the 11 entries and might be 11 entries you have to search maybe 77 85 93 and so on you know but this is how you actually work on the arrays and if I'm going to let's say for example I'm gonna paste this entire piece here right now you can see here that there is no unique value over here because every cell has a one value here or over here we have a 58 which is again repeating three times right so if I write here two, you can see here that there is no two over here it's just a one two that's why it is showing you this one if I write here let's say four you'll get the two values the two values are unique but the moment you're gonna write four again it will again go back to one right so I hope uh, this would have made a lot of difference today in your Excel knowledge and that's my email ID do subscribe to my channel and let me know in case if you have some questions right thank you so much and have a good day bye bye